Now, Kinetic Text Animator has a library right here, and most of the content that you are, would find in here needs to be put in here by you. Um, you may, uh, I'm, I offer bonuses, and I've, I've, I've got a few products, uh, you know, with these images. We have, the, um, I'll show you where the bonuses are here in a second. But the bottom line is, I want to have whatever my assets are for what I do, and I want to be able to find them. Now, they need to be keyworded, um, and that's kind of an important part of that. But if they are, and I'll show you how to do all that in a second, then I can just simply, if I need a, something like a happy image from my video, then I can type in happy, I can drag, drag and drop it into my video and move on. So I want to be able to do it that quickly. Um, so the, the, that's what we've facilitated here with the library. So I want to show you how you can get the images in here to where you can keyword search them and be able to find assets to make your videos quickly and easily. Because um, if you have, say you need, um, let's say about 10 to 15 segments in your video, and uh, and everything if i can keyword search to find the the, the different images you can see just by the, the one that i just did here that it could take uh, you know minutes uh to, you know for each one instead of having to uh, spend if you really analyze your creation of your video most of the time you're doing your video you're trying to find the assets that are appropriate for the video that you're trying to talk about or you settle for low quality assets or no assets and just have a blank image and your video becomes not as, as compelling. So uh, we want to be able to just, you know, okay, I, I need frustrated. Okay, fine. Um, I'm going to type frustrated in here and I've got something and I can move on, right? So uh, let's talk about how to do that. Now, first of all, you can use, you can import, of course, individual files here. And that's in import libraries, but you have, we have the import libraries collection and you can go ahead and click on one of these buttons to load uh, whatever it is. So background art, for example, the static images, that's, that's static um, photos or whatever. I can click on that and what I've, I've got a folder I've downloaded from, from something I'll show you here in a second. It's got five different directories of images that are keyworded and ready to go. And I need to, to select a folder that contains the folders that then contains the images, okay? I know that's a little confusing, and that's actually why I'm not going to recommend that you use that. I'm going to show you a better way, in my opinion. Let me just point out, though, that um, <clears throat> the keywording is, uh, the, if you look at these files, I've got, um, you know, it says, you know, beautiful girl. The, each of the main keywords are capitalized, okay? And then in the, the folder names, we've got lowercase folder names with hyphens where the spaces are. That's important. Those two things are important for it to work properly inside of Kinetic Text Animator if you're making your own, for example. I'm gonna cancel out of that, and I'm gonna show you what I think is the better way, and that's using this advanced feature up here. So I've got Manage App Data. You really need to pay attention to this. Do you know? Do read this, be sure that you understand that in this next folder, we do not wanna move or rename that folder, or you lose access to your library. So don't, so don't do that. So I can double click into that. I'm gonna have all these different subfolders. I have backgrounds, I have um, uh, the audio, and the, let's see, the video. Those are the main ones. So let's go into the backgrounds. This is this, the static images that I've done a search for before. And there's a couple of different things that I can talk about here. Like, here's a little trick. I, I named this uh, AAA Expressive, and that's because it'll show up in my, you know, if I look at the list like this, by having it uh, AAA in front, Expressive is at the top of that list. And I would do that if I felt like I was using Expressive images a lot, okay? Now, uh, um, so what I can do here in this case is I have all of these, and this is a, just a folder, just like if I'm, you know, doing asset management on my, you know, using uh, Explorer or whatever, uh, or Finder on the Macintosh. Um, and so, I have these assets right here on my hard drive that I downloaded, and I can simply take them and drag them, drop them in here. I've already done that. They're actually in there. Uh, there's, let's see, this this folder says expressive here, and then that's, that's actually the, the I, AAA expressive. I just renamed it. And it's one of the reasons why I'm uh, telling you uh, about this approach to putting the assets in the, you know, in the library is because um, what you'll find, um, we have, so let, let me pop over here. This is, here, here we are in Kinetic Text. It, it, I'm in the editor, but this is what it looks like now for the dashboard. And you see we have bonuses. So if you go to the bonuses page, there's all these bonuses. And 
what uh, we've done here is um, the, uh, Digi Products, for for example, was kind enough to let us use some of their videos as bonuses. And um, I, 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 of course, I said, okay, well, here's a, a link to your product um, in, in in return. But um, you know, you can get some free samples, and I, I basically tried to curate a bunch of really nice assets and. Um, you know, find some good stuff, and I keyworded them, and I optimized them so that they take up less space. Now, here's another thing. This is a uh, uh, the upsell uh, for Kinetic Text Animator, or just a, a separate course. It's called Video Like a Pro. And what I've done in this one is I've created, a, I've found assets. These are all Pixabay. These are you know, something you can get for free. I'm not. I don't want to, you know, deceive you. But um, what I've done is I've keyworded them and I've optimized them so that their file sizes don't take up too much space on your hard drive. And that's what these are. These are over here are the, these are the images that come with that product. And the, all of these images are based around um, tried and true video pr principles for, for creating engaging videos. And so that's why uh, I've got them named like that. These are you know eye contact and leading. These are all principles that professional videographers and cinematographers use to make the videos more compelling. And so we're trying to be more purposeful in you know in, in your ability to whatever it is. So if you look here, I'm back in this uh, uh, here. And um, I know that I like to include joy and fun images in my videos whenever I can. It makes people feel good, and I want to do that. Or I know that I'm always looking for metaphorical types of images to kind of convey ideas in my videos, like are, are you lost in a maze, or you know things like that. Are you going down the wrong path, um, you know, and so forth. You know, so I, I want, I'm always looking for images like that. So I've got a folder created for that right there. And uh, all of those are keyworded. And I have taken, I've just found some of these on Pixabay and other sites and as part of other products. And I personally have keyworded them myself for my own use because I need that. I, you know, are you trying to, you know, you know, are you targeting people for, you know, whatever it is, right? So that's, that's what I've done here. And you can do the same thing. So I, and I, that's why I'm showing you this way to add assets to them. Now you can do the same thing for video and everything and what I what I have done personally is uh, in the bonuses that I've offered on that pay on the page back oops wrong one um, let's go here uh, on the bonuses page here what I downloaded all I, of course I created them all um, and then I, I basically went into my image folder in uh, here in kinetic text animator I'm getting kind of confused I know and I, I, I created categories that I knew that I, I wanted. So for example, um, I had a dip, like four or five different, I mean three or four different folders for people. So I made one and then dragged all of the people images into that folder. And there was a couple that I didn't even want, so I just deleted them. Um, but I just created these different categories and um, uh, textures was another big one I wanted. I really like to have just some uh, simple textures for fillers. And so uh, I've got that and so forth. So you get the idea. And so that gives me the ability to, um, you know, have it the way I need it for what I do in my, you know, what I, the way I work. And you're going to want to do that for yourself so that you can, um, you know, get the kinds of assets that you need. You may be into making uh, ads. Well, then you can have ad-related uh, imagery. You know, that you probably have stuff that you've purchased over the years, and you can, you know, you can create your own folders for that kind of stuff. Or you can grab again my course or whatever it is, and you can make it your own. And that way, um, as you're working in Kinetic Text Engine, you're creating your own videos. You can just pop in here and do a keyword search. I'm going to do a keyword search for leading. These are images where someone's looking, someone or something is is pointing or looking at something, and, and I would put text animation where they're looking, right? So, you know, I want to use this principle a lot in my videos, and so I have images for that ready to keyword search, ready to find, and, you know, so that I can quickly and easily find something and then move on and make my video. So uh, that's how you do that. I know this is a long uh, tutorial, but this is a really valuable thing. If you take the time to do this, it will pay off over in the long run because you'll be able to 
bang out your videos fast because you'll find your assets, get them on the stage, make your animation, and finish your video fast. So uh, there you go. I hope you get a lot out of this and um, uh, take the time uh, to make your library uh, optimized for you, and I think you will definitely uh, be glad that you did.